Now, this project also happens to be the first deep collaboration between Microsoft and Cirque du Soleil, and more precisely, a collaboration with Cirque's secretive innovation laboratory, the C Lab. This partnership represents our mutual and constant quest for innovation. And over the past few weeks, we have worked together as a team to create mixed reality tools that are adapted to Cirque du Soleil's creative process. The goal is for them to use these tools for the set design of future live shows. And to further explain and demonstrate our collaboration, please help me welcome on stage Chantal Tremblay, Carl Fouillon, and Geneviève Pizan. Chantal is a creation director at Cirque du Soleil, and some of our work includes The Beatles' Love and Curios. Carl is a set designer, and his recent works include Toruk, The First Flight, which was inspired by Jane Cameron's Avatar. And Geneviève is the project manager at C Lab. Welcome, friends. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for the invitation. On behalf of Cirque du Soleil, we're really happy to be part of this development of Microsoft HoloLens. You know, innovation for us at Cirque is our priority. Today, as we're growing faster than ever and we're creating more and more show, we really think that this technology of HoloLens would help us to become more agile. Yes, I totally agree with you, Chantal. This tool will be very useful in my workflow. I have been expecting that kind of technology for a long time ago. Thank you, Alex, to invite us to be here. Thank you. Our creative process to put a show together for us is 18 to 24 months, and that is including from the beginning when we choose the theme until we open the show to the public. In Montreal, at Cirque du Soleil's headquarters, there are big studios enough to fit the entire stage and all the equipment of our shows. At the end of our creation process, when everything has been built, we install all of that on those studios for a few weeks of real shows. Mm -hmm. Now, with this amazing technology, we'll be able to visualize the same stage and all the equipment into the same studios at real scale, but months before the construction. That will change a lot the way we work. So let's create a new stage together. Okay. So now, now what we see here is a typical stage with the four masts holding up a tent of the big top. So we had for, scaled that lower to be sure we fit in the stage. Yes, place, we right? scaled it down to fit this stage or to the right. presentation. So let me show you an example of decision that we have to deal with. You have to know that our stage usually are always of the same height because this is the best possible view that public can have. So when we did the creation of the show Curios, we wanted to have that feeling of a traditional circus ring, and also we want the public to see the painting on the floor. So what we did, we lowered the stage by 35%. So even after many months, even if we looked at it on paper, on computer, or on models, it was a tough decision to take. I would say even a stressful decision. But now, with this technology being all together with a creative team, we would be able to see exactly what the public will experience in the end. Oui, merci Chantal. And for us at C-Lab, one of our mandates is to introduce new technologies like this to our production teams. So we work all together in collaboration just to make sure that the tools we develop or adapt fit what they need. So let me show you what we've been doing these past few weeks. I'm going to now open a creation menu and it's insert basic shapes for you, Cal. Okay, merci Geneviève. Moving primitive polygon shapes help me to fill the available space. And from there, it is easy and quick to establish the right proportions. As a set designer, if you think you have a good idea, you still have to share it with the entire team and make sure everybody understands properly your proposal. Now let's pretend that this cube is a cabinet. A maquette is a great tool to visualize shapes, but still, it is not enough to understand and feel the real size of them and the impact they can have into a space volume. Now I'll take this sphere and I put it over the cabinet, and then I group them together and I rotate it like that. Yeah. Too many times I experienced myself problem at that level. 
Even if I'm doing very elaborated 2 days illustration and animated 3D models, but now with the HoloLens, there is no more misunderstanding possible, because you are into the model. Great. And one of the other amazing possibilities of the HoloLens is that we can work on designs we have from software that we already use. To show you an example of that, I will upload one of the stage props that we have from a previous show. So it's an acrobatic platform for a contortion number, and it's called the hand. Oh, yes, all right. So as you can see, to put a show together, it's a great team effort. Even choreographer could be able to visualize the space they have to put the acrobatic performance, or even a costume designer could see and be helped to create more complex costumes. Speaking about designers, you know, sometimes they are at different places on the planet. So I would like to invite today Michel Laprise, one of our show directors, and Michel is in Europe right now. So he's going to be wearing the new Microsoft headset. Hi, Michel. Hi, Michel. Bonjour tout le monde. I am sorry, guys, I couldn't be with you today, but uh, it's kind of cool to be virtual. I like Isn't it. Isn't it? So, Carl, um, there's two references I'd like to share with you today. Okay. So, the first of all, it's the hand. I think I was wrong with marble. It's too mm -hmm. cold. Let's go with something warmer like this wood finish. Ah, okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Nice. And, you know, about the background, the turbine, yesterday I was walking in Paris and I stopped by the train station, La Gare du Nord, and it is industrial like this. Wow. Ah, okay. Cool. All right. Oh my God, guys! Nice. Uh, I, we'll have to continue that in Montreal next week because now I have to go because <laughs> c'est la vie. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. That's awesome. There is nothing like to be together around the concept to take concrete decisions. Now let's imagine we are more advanced in our design and we are ready at the end to f to present to the to the, the the result to the team. Yes. Load full stage. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's great. It's beautiful. So up until now, we have spoken a lot about set design, but let's not forget what drives us at Cirque du Soleil. It's the human performance. So let's welcome the artist, Geneviève. Add contortionist. Wow. That works very well. Mm. Add Roussy. So for us now, to be able to see that so early in the process is amazing and totally new. Usually we have to wait until we finalize our casting and the artists come to Montreal. But now, by looking at it, we could even make changes of some performance or different casting call. So as you can see with HoloLens, this is a tool which can make our work and save time and money and definitely be a good addition to our toolbox. Yes, and you know what? Now I'm dreaming to work into all the lens directly on stage at the real scale with texturing, modeling, lighting, animating. We are closer than ever to a perfect creation tool, really. Yeah, and during all my years at Cirque du Soleil, I've seen a lot of changes and innovation. And I believe with this technology of HoloLens, it could help our creation process. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Alex, and your team for sharing this technology with thank us. Thank you, my thank friends. You. How about a huge round of applause for our friends at CERN? Thank you. Thank you.